Hello guys, what is up, it's Mace. Welcome back to Blazing and Glazed. So today is a the, the cloudy ass day in Los Angeles and it is also Sunday morning, which means I am going thrifting. I've just been feeling down and yesterday I had a terrible migraine all day and I tried to go thrifting. My migraine took over my mind and it just like wasn't a good ass time. So I don't know about you guys, comment down below if thrifting kind of just puts you back in a better mood, makes you feel like more like yourself. Ever since I started thrifting when I was like 16 years old back in high school, it's become something that just makes me feel me. It makes me feel good, it makes me feel happy. And when I can just go to the thrift, suss around, not really like after anything in particular, but just like imagining fantastic, amazing finds like this cat suit right here. It tends to bring me back to myself. Let me know down below if the thrift store also like kind of acts as your therapy as well. Not in place of real therapy, you know, that is Vivi important as well, but just like a form of therapy that just brings you a little bit more back to life. So that is what we are doing today. We're going to go to the Goodwill in Hollywood on Vine Street. Also where I found this cat suit. If you are new and you love thrifting and fashion and style and you are ready to shimmy and shake and have a damn good time, hit subscribe down below and we are going to take off on a thrift with me in Hollywood at one of my favorite Goodwills where we are going to find some fantastical finds. I can just feel it right now. I'm ready to go. Let's go. I think we need one mere shimmy, maybe a couple mere shimmies before we take off. Shimmy, shimmy. Gimme, gimme. Okay, so we just got in the car and I don't know if I made it extremely clear, but basically today's thrift mission, today's thrift trip. I just want to go and buy like whatever the hell makes my heart happy, whatever the hell makes me feel VV me, whatever makes me want to shimmy and shake, not want to shimmy and shake, but whatever I pick up and truly like I don't have a choice whether to shimmy or shake, I'm gonna buy it. Let's go. Take the second right, then your destination will be on the right. Okay, so we just pulled into the parking lot and it does not look very busy, which is ideal. First thing that you may experience in the Goodwill Hollywood parking lot is a booty. I just indeed saw a man's booty, a man's whole entire butt, ass, beautiful ass queens. Okay, so I am in the dresses right now and I'm gonna go through all of them, like all the racks. It's very, very clean, the cleanest I've actually ever seen this Goodwill. I'm just gonna literally go through everything. Oh, the jackets, guys. Do you think I need another puff? Because that's a good puffer. That's a good ass puffer. So I found this blue blazer that is so 80s and so, 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 so cool. But Tyler realized that it was missing a button, like a true thrift queen. I have found a shimmy shake top that is perfect for the holidays. It is sheer. There is no cart, so Tyler is holding the loot. So far I'm seeing like a lot of really good 80s moments, like this. Um, not any that I necessarily need. I'm looking for more like, Casual photos. That is the exact spot that I found this in. Look at these feelers I found though. I don't know if they're too dirty, but these are sick. These look really cool. They do look dirty though. I found a couple of things. Tyler's holding a couple of things for me, like a damn saint because we never found the cart. There's no fitting rooms, but gonna head over to a mirror to try some stuff on. Loving these colors. Guys, I found half of the cat suit. Not the full piece, but we did find half. I just want to be able to thrift like all of you guys cat suits. Another fabulous cardigan like that cashmere J. Crew one. I found it out of the closet, but it has a sad little stain. Okay, we have this big blue like on a rock. I don't know if I necessarily need it at all, but I guess that's not what this trip is about. What do you think of this, honey? Meh. I like the color, but okay, this will obviously be like a long buttoned up shimmy shake top. Will look better in the try on haul, but definitely getting this. Love this color. Okay, I kind of scored on round two in the pajamas. Look at this slip dress. It's completely sheer, but you could do like a really cool high waisted panty underneath. And then I also found this one that is a little big for me, but I'm thinking of getting as a gift for a friend. Just look how cute these look together. Ugh, I'm obsessed. Wow, I love this blazer. It's a little bit big. This one's from the men's department. I love all of mine from the men's department. This has like literally 11 shoulder pads. That is a shoulder pad that is taking on a life of its own, which I really damn appreciate, but I just don't need another one. And it's a little bit too big, a little bit too big. I'm not gonna try this on, but we gotta get the sheer shimmy shake top. Okay, I pulled this pajama set, but it's too big for me. I was thinking of doing it as like a whole matching set situation, but I found other good stuff. I finally found a pair of blue sweatpants that fit me. I have been on the hunt for so long for the perfect thrift pair, and these fit. I pulled this sweater because it reminded me of this Aritzia sweater that I have that I love. Comes in kind of at the bottom, see that detail? Tyler thinks the shoulder pads, you're right, the fabric is too sheer and you can like see the shoulder pad. 
and then it looks cheap. Okay, well, you guys get the idea. I was hoping I wouldn't like this sweat jacket a lot because I don't need another jacket, but it fits me so perfectly. Damn, we'll see. Okay, Tyler's got my loot over there. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna peace out. I'm gonna wash all this shit, and then gonna, we're gonna do a goddamn try on haul at home. I'm feeling a little better. This definitely put the pet back in my step. Only $28 spent, but many good things found. I actually found one home decor item while we were in the line to check out that was only $1.99 that I had to pop. Okay guys, so I am back from the Goodwill and I just feel like this was a thrift trip that I needed. You know, I needed like a casual, realistic, just going to a Goodwill that I love and like not putting pressure on myself to find anything in particular. I feel like lately I've just been making a ton of thrift videos, going out looking for different trends and holiday looks and just specific things for videos. And I just kind of wanted to have one of those thrifty mornings where you have an hour of free time and you just go do your thing. And that is what I did. So I ended up picking up a couple of things, not too many. You guys know me, I don't tend to do like huge outrageous thrift hauls because to me, that's just like really not the point. I really don't like to buy an item at the thrift store unless it really feeds my soul. Makes me want to shimmy and shake. It like evokes a character I might want to portray one day. So these pieces are like very vibrant, very colorful, very let's bring in the winter with a little bit of damn pizzazz. So let's start off with the slip dresses. I looked through the pajama section when I first got there and I didn't see anything, but you always just have to like recomb through the pajama department because these tiny slips get lost in the shuffle of like the big ass robes and whatnot. So I am going to throw this baby on. It is completely sheer like you guys saw when I tried it on. I didn't really try it on when I like semi tried it on. That is why I'm doing a white t-shirt under it just for now for this look that I wanna show you guys. Um, because this would be a fun outfit. I don't have like the underwear on right now that I would wear with it, but I think that like a pair of high-waisted white or black under Wear would look absolutely phenoms. So to me, a red slip dress always screams Courtney Love in the 90s, 90s grunge rock queen. And I love a red mini dress with a black leather jacket. So I would totally style this with my white tee underneath for like that little like grunge effect. You're still being like a little like saucy saucy because you can see your panties. You could do high waisted tights though if you're not like into the showing of the goodies. So like I'm loving a little moto jacket with it. And then this bag that I actually just got, a subscriber sent it to me. I will have her brand link down below, but she literally like custom makes these like pop culture art bags and it's kind of like a little mini bag a little mini baguette sized bag and she just like obviously knows me because this bag is amazing and it like says pop culture on the bag so it obviously was meant to go with this like Courtney Love inspired pop culture moment so you know we throw on a sunny we throw on maybe like a combat boot and we're ready to go I might even like need my hair done for this one I feel like rock chicks hair down is the move what do I even have all this hair for if it's not to like sport it down and around and I feel like I could honestly rock out to like a casual cool holiday party in this so next look so the next slip dress I picked up, I'm going to throw on real quick because I never actually tried it on. I just saw that it was not quite my size, but now that I put it on, it's not actually that big for me. I don't have a white slip dress that is this neckline. And I also feel like a ton of the slip dresses I have left over from summer, a little like summer vibes. And I just felt like that one and this one were very like Valentine's Day, very winter, very like winter white, winter chic. And it actually has these like really cute like side slits on it, which none of the slip dresses that I own have. So we love it. And then it has this very just like feminine, delicate little bow, little lace overlay situation. And like I said, I'm probably not gonna keep this dress for myself because it doesn't fit me perfectly. It doesn't fit me terribly though. So I don't know, we'll see. But I'm thinking about gifting it to a friend for Christmas. Okay, if you guys are not new, you know that we live for a good Jimmy Shake Top. We love for a good Night at the Roxbury vibe. Jimmy obviously screams Doug and Sibutabi Night at the Roxbury, one of my favorite movies of all time. Two of my personal fashion icons of all time. They have many scenes in the movie where they're wearing like silver tops or sheer tops, and this one I just love, especially for the holidays. And I will be having a holiday party looks video out on Friday. So this will obviously be making appearance. I love the bra look underneath. I'm feeling very Madonna. And I, of course, have to strap this on with my black latex vibe pants. Let me just, ugh. All this love, baby don't hurt me. So two ways I would wear this. One would be just buttoned all the way down to here and then just kind of like leaving it open for just like ample swaying and shimmying and dancing. Second would be buttoning it one more button and then doing the little like half tuck in, half tuck out situation that we love. And I just feel like this would be very cute with my little Fendi baguette. And this could be a casual outfit, but it could also be like, we're going to a party at night type of outfit. You're showing a little bit, but you're not showing a lot. Oh yes, I mean, I just can't stop shaking in this shirt because you guys know this is a true ass shimmy shake top and that's really the tea on why I bought it. Okay, next time I'm coming for you risky business style in this yellow button down that you guys just know 
hoe I had to get. I am a hoe for color these days. If you told that to 14 year old Macy like in her all black teen angst phase, I mean she wouldn't believe a word you had to say. But when I saw this shirt, I can't lie to you guys, I automatically thought of these yellow parade underwear that I have. And I was like, oh my God, I want to wear that in my morning dance parties with my underwear. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram already, at Macy Eleni, but we do morning dance parties every single morning where we dance and we shimmy and we shake and sometimes I'm wearing pants and most times I'm not. So I wanted to get this to just like wear around the house and feel like cute in my panties, but cause not everyone wants to wear their panties out in public. I totally understand. Well, I guess we're always wearing our panties out in public, but usually under our pants. Regardless, I'm going to wear it with pants. So I love doing just like my bright ass colored shirts with just a pair of blue jeans. These are just high-waisted, like super blue jeans. I had tried on like a lighter wash at first and I didn't like it as much. For some reason it seemed to like wash out the color in the shirt. I love that it's like bright, bright, bright. You are entering the room, we are in your face, we are loud and proud, we are here, we are us, and we are having a good time. I cannot wait to wear the shirt. I'm probably going to wear it this week with some black boots. I'm loving this color combo, but I am from Ohio originally. And I mean like, I'm not a football fan. But everyone in Ohio seems to like get their rocks off by watching Ohio State football. And all I remember is like, the Ohio State and Michigan game every year, which I think maybe just happened, but these were like Michigan's colors. So like, I feel like everyone in Ohio would not like this outfit, but you know, whatever. I am feeling the yellow and blue. This was a damn find. Okay, and this last thing, which I don't have on my body because they don't fit me, are these Gorgina Levi's jeans. I don't have any jeans that have this like gorgeous. I just love that. I love how distressed it is at the bottom. They're straight leg, they've got a little distressing. I did the damn neck thing and they said they would fit me, but my ass doesn't always match up with the neck trick, so they don't fit, which is fine. There's no fitting room at this thrift store, so I kind of just was like going on the fly and now I have these Levi's that were $4 and don't fit me. So I'll either be selling them on my next Instagram story still for like literally $10 or I'll just like give them to a friend but they're super cute and I had so many moments pictured in them but alas I will still be on the hunt for the perfect pair of Levi's I have so many you know of my split crack booty jeans and I just wanted one pair with some pockets but maybe I'm just not meant for pocket pants okay anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it was like very on the fly not many items picked up but that's kind of just like what happens on a realistic thrift trip like you don't just go and always find like a million things and that's not really the goal for me anyway like I said I like to go to find special pieces and like for for me, just even finding this yellow shirt was such a special piece because I used to be, like I said, so scared of wearing color and now it brings me like so much joy, so much excitement and that's kind of what I want when I get dressed in the morning. I want to put on stuff that makes me happy and excited and like just like happy about life. And I mean, that's really all we're doing over here on Blazed and Glazed is being ourselves and celebrating ourselves and wearing whatever the hell we want and being whoever the hell we want. So if you did enjoy this video and you are not subscribed already, hit subscribe down below. I love you guys. Don't forget that you're a beautiful ass queen no matter what, doing your damn thing, no matter what anyone says. You're amazing. You're fabulous and I will see you guys back here with some holiday videos later this week. Peace! Shimmy. Totally just realized while editing that I flopped and didn't show you guys the home decor item that I picked up. I literally realized at the end of the Come Thrift With Me clip I said that I found a home decor item and it is just this like gorgeous crystal ashtray um, for our new apartment. I've been thrifting like so many crystal things lately you guys have seen. That is truly the best way to like make your home look oh so glam, oh so bougie, oh so 80s decadence um, for like $2. Okay. <laughs>